Good day, ladies and gentlemen. We have just arrived at the Thelem Embassy. Embassy's uh, camp, and we're gonna go in and see uh, what he has to offer. You gonna get stopped by the guards? No. Okay. Like always, let's make sure we don't miss any sick loot. Wouldn't wanna miss out on free money. Campsite, yo ho ho. I feel like I'm not supposed to be going back there. Maybe I can. I love how they're not so far the only people basically that have an area that they're like, no one can go into. Well, I guess the ghost camp that we discovered. Like that, but. Not quite the same. Us to the secret, we don't need to work. And why do these bi these big towns look so cool? Can someone explain why they go with like, such a gloomy look to these towns. And this banner renegades didn't stand no chance. military camp up here. See, I see. We're not going to try to get through. But I'm pretty sure they're up to something evil in there. Very suspicious. I wonder what this uh, William government is going on at their secret military base. Hid way up on the hills away from the city. It could just be blocking the path that leads that way, but it is. Why? Uh, so we're having the overload encoding error again. Uh, we just quickly shut. That down, that down, and hopefully that will fix it. Sorry about that, everyone. A lot of brigands out of this. Uh, 
guys, I took down three. You could have at least took down one by now. I do 92 elemental damage on each and blunderbuff. Do we have any skill points? I don't know. Kill these blue bloods! And let's go! Yeah. Oh my. Yeah. Yeah. This is how it's locked into this one. Beasts and stuff all over the road. You guys just aren't keeping their area safe. The peasants around here must be like desperate for help. Look how many brigands are here in between the outpost and. I feel sorry for the peasantry around here. They don't have people clearing these roads with these dang brigands. Well, they do now. I'm here to help these peasants. We need to earn some money. Get the sheep. I saw shark rhinos. Get them. Halt! In the name of the Enlightened One, present yourself. Sir de Sade. Emissary of the Congregation of Merchants on Tier 3D. I have come to present my regards to your governor. We have been expecting your visit, Your Excellency. Welcome. May he light your way. Uh, may, may he not. And you guys look like it is. Wait a sec. So the other, the other town gave me a place right next to the palace. You guys gave me one all the way over here. That's uh, that's kind of sus. I'm not gonna lie. Maybe there's something they just don't want us to figure out.
Naval Ops. Hey, where are you? I wonder what kind of uh, sneaky stuff. Okay. Well, it's like every nation has a secret. what religion really is. They burn. They are nothing. Wait, so where are your gods? Huh? Huh? You huh? shed tears for this creature while your heart should be full of joy. Welcoming the light. Forget your pagan foul teachings. Embrace the true faith. You are mad. Where you are. The pagan stink of these soulless natives taints you. You bring demon spawned barbarians through our gates. <sighs> this man just killed some helpless soul in front of our eyes and he calls us barbarians. Who are you to address with such familiarity? I am the Inquisitor Aloysius, and you will be going nowhere lest your answers give me satisfaction. Do you believe that the God of Light is the one and only God? Don't tell me that you are going to humor this crazed assassin. If I want to complete my mission, I believe I have no other choice. Diplomacy may seem to you of little import, but I doubt that your governor will be of a similar opinion. Aggression towards an emissary of another nation is an error that could lead to war. Your attempts to avoid answering speak for themselves. Answer my question. No, I'm not a believer. What are you going to do now? Burn me at the stake? Your very presence in our holy city is outrageous blasphemy. May he guide my hand. Bit of poison on my blade. Enough! Enough! 
This time brute force has prevailed, but the light always triumphs in the end. I will not forget our encounter, and I am certain that we shall meet again. I want to. I want to redo this. Left the building. I'm not about to agree with you, God, because I don't believe or agree with any gods or Screw those. Not that there's any problem if you follow one, it's just not my type of thing. Welcome to the best holy item shop in San Mateo. Ew. I said I have no problem people you know following religions and that and it might just be me but I don't have the best view Tough. goodbye may the enlightened always keep you in his divine
Don't hesitate to have a rummage of it. We're out to sell. Okay. Now that this is done, we're gonna go talk to that jerk. We've all seen this cutscenes. Yep. You stop where you are. The pagan stink of these soulless natives taints you. You bring demon-spawned barbarians through our gates. <sighs> this man just killed some helpless soul in front of our eyes and he calls us barbarians. Who are you to address with such familiarity? I... Do I, you believe... Don't... If I... W Diplomacy may seem to you of little import, but I doubt that your governor will be of a similar opinion. Aggression towards an emissary of another nation is an error that could lead to war. Your attempts to avoid answer. No. Your Bit of poison on my blade. Uh, then let's go! Uh, Enough! I will. We're gonna try until we get it to work. Know why? I don't want to lose their reputation, but I do not want to agree with a god. I want to agree with their fate. I could switch up to Kirk, and that might help. But nah. You! So, who are you? Uh, don't if I. Diplomacy may see aggression. You're in. No. Okay, we're gonna try to a joke, Kirk. I just don't want to continue to repeatedly have to do this damn scene. Hey, Kirk. For now, just take this. Need a better. Um. You. You wear the mark of the impure pagan cult of the natives. I am Inquisitor Aloysius, and by authority of my title, I order you to explain yourself. The mark on my face is by no means impure. You are walking on thin ice and are close to committing a grave diplomatic error. Diplomacy? If the truth of the Enlightened is obscured, then our relations are tainted and of no value. Answer my questions, or receive the punishment reserved for heretics. Do you believe that the God of Light 
is the one and only God. Diplomacy may seem to you of little import, but I doubt that your governor will be of a similar opinion. Aggression towards an emissary of another nation is an error that could lead to war. Your attempts... I don't even care anymore. ...answering speak for themselves. Answer my question. No. No. I'm not a believer. What are you going to do I'll now? I'll give a war shot. Oh, very... Bit of poison on my brain. And let's go! Enough! This time brute force has prevailed, but the light always triumphs and I will not... Your light, the only thing is that's gonna triumph from that is me stepping on your skull and crushing it. Close am I to getting a level? Pretty cl But I'm not about to wait. Ah, uh, do I want to lose, uh... Relationship points? Hmm... Do I, do I, do I? Do you believe? Diplomacy may seem to you of little import, but aggression to you this time. I shall allow you to continue along your path. I am certain ours will cross again. And be aware that wheresoever you wander, you shall be weighed, measured, and judged. And later on, your head shall roll on the ground. As I will intend to fully remove it from its shoulders. You are now under the stern eye of the God of Light. Hope that your underwear is clean. It seems like you do not hold the priests of Teleme in high regard. It's mostly that I do not trust them. They're hot-headed. But you did a good job. I hate them. That's not, I, don't, I don't like religion. I find it steals value from lives of Young normal man. people. Pardon me, are you not part of the new governor's entourage? I'm his cousin, and I'm accompanying him on his mission to Tirfredi. What can I do for you, Father? Bishop Petrus, 
How divinely fortunate this is. Did you know that I had the honor of meeting you at your uncle's court when you were a child? I would never have imagined that you would grow up to resemble the island natives so closely. The island was yet to be discovered. How could you have known? <laughs> you haven't lost your clever little tongue. You were always quite a remarkable young boy. I'm on my way to New Serene as an ambassador to the new governor. Do you think there would be room for me to accompany you? The roads are not truly safe. I must first meet the Mother Cardinal to present my respects on behalf of my cousin. I will accompany you, and then we can take the road together. I'm so happy our paths have crossed once again. Eh, disgusting. Your Eminence, in the name oh of the God. Congregation of Merchants, I present my best regards. May the light bless you, <laughs> you on these grounds with inspired guidance. I thank you. We truly wish that this visit will strengthen the ties between our two nations. I learned that you crossed paths with that of Inquisitor Aloysius. I beseech you to forgive his zealous nature. His faith is absolute. And I congratulate you to have appeased him. Your faith and your diplomatic skills honor you. Another subject brings me as well. The Malachor. The horrible blood plague decimating our peoples. A terrible matter that worries us all and reveals our imperfections and sinful nature. For he would never have allowed such an evil to spread without a deeper reason, a fault. Our theologians are certain that the Malachor is the work of a curse. And we have discovered that this island is home to a cult that venerates willfully a horrifying demon. What a fortuitous coincidence. A practical excuse for sending the Inquisition out to set the island ablaze. We must unearth this cult and tear it out by its sinister, sinful roots. We started to investigate a village not far from here where strange happenings have been reported. I have begun investigations. And I confirm that a demon is certainly active in the area. Alas, the population is very secretive, and we have great difficulty gleaning any useful information. But if the congregation would help us, I wonder. Matter, in other words, if the Malachor troubles your cousin as much as myself, report to His Majesty that the destruction of this pagan cult is the only way to eradicate the plague. And his help in obtaining any information from the natives would be extremely welcomed. Be certain that your message will be transmitted, Mother Cardinal. I look forward to our next encounter. Oh my god. So they're using religion basically as an excuse to go burn the villages and that? When someone doesn't agree with you over something that you can't prove, you're just going on blind faith and uh, the history of your religion. You should immediately assume because they are not accepting what you have to say and burn their village to the ground and kill all of them that is what's just and right in this world and uh if only it was a thing that only happened just in games The other campfire's gotta be up this way.
I'm not gearing this priest guy up at all unless... Oh, wonder, can I turn him against his religion? <coughs> That's what I gotta try to do. Yo. Do, do, do. Greetings! Do you want to travel without tiring yourself out? My caravan goes through all the cities. So, where should I drop you? To New Serene. Let's go! I could just walk, but I'm curious if I can get a quest or anything from this. Nope. Not at all. It's worth a try, though. Glad to see you again. I'm just passing through. It looks like from the background there's a lot of construction going on in our city. Silver District. Good day, Lady Morange. Do you remember me? Of course. So de Sardé, isn't it? I hope that you and your cousin have grown to like it here. But I have little reason to believe you have paid me a visit to exchange civilities. Can I be of service? We would like to have some information regarding an important family, the Darcys. Well, I could tell you many things about them, but I suppose that you want to know something in particular? Are there any members of this family on the island? Indeed, Bastien Darcy, the son of the family, has been in New Serene for some time. Last I heard about it, he was doing business, but that doesn't help in knowing where he is. The Darcy's first attempt at establishing themselves on this island wasn't very fruitful, but I seem to recall that since then the son has found a competent associate who's been working here for a long time. Perfect. Could you tell us where to find her? Of course. 
Ask for a Madame Clerk near the warehouses on the port. That's where she normally is. I hope the Darcys are not in trouble. Don't worry, madam. Their name was simply mentioned in some business discussions. We are thinking about becoming associates. We would like to know more about them to form an opinion. If you ask me, you should forget this idea, Your Excellency. Their son is a poor business partner. Why do you say that? I do not mean to speak ill of him. Perhaps it would be better for you to form your own opinion. Well, thank you for your help, madam. Can I help you with any other matter? What do you know about the ruins found to the northwest of here? <laughs> the site that the natives called Didakidnadagais. I had countless questions about the place when our explorers and scouts first brought back sketches. Intrigued, I went there. I noted the architecture and their decorations. It is certain that they bear a striking resemblance with continental constructions, but they are more ancient. Too old to have been recently built by the Bridge Alliance settlers when they first set foot on the island. I even questioned the natives, but they only spoke of a people of the sea. My first thoughts went to the Norts, but they're not known for building large towns, less so cities. There are other ruins on a cliff to the east of here. Perhaps they hide the key to this mystery. I hoped to organize an expedition, but the region is dangerous and hard of access. We explored mines at the bottom of the cliff, but we were not able to find an access to the plateau. If the mystery of these ruins intrigues you as much as me, it is in that direction that you should begin to look for answers. Can I help you with any other matter? My Not lady, I have to go. Goodbye. Hips Fedora. Are you here to do business? Are you Madam Clerk? We would like to meet with your associate, Mr. Darcy. Bastian? I don't know where he is. I can't say that he often graces us with his presence. You don't have the slightest idea where he is? I am not his caretaker, you know. You don't seem to hold him in high regard. Listen, my relationship with my associate is no one else's concern. And if you didn't come to do business, well... In truth, we're here to collect a hefty sum. You're associates, are you not? We could make you pay in his stead. Oh, God. Why did I make an agreement with his family? This bastion has brought me nothing but trouble. He was supposed to go to Hickmet to deal with one of our clients, but I didn't receive any news from him after his departure. And given his tendency to get himself into impossible situations, I didn't try to get any. Who is this client? His name is Ferrat. You'll find him in the Alchemist District. Uh, I'll write this down. You think something may have happened to him there? His mission wasn't very complicated. He had to pay for a valuable shipment and take charge of it. But with Bastion, anything is possible. Thank you, madam. Well then, that was pretty easy. Not because now we have to go exploring all over a different region to find this guy. Can you believe it? How dare he! But I digress. And there's something we must do first. Good thing all these boxes that eventually pop up, so you have an infinite supply.
Happy to see you, my dear. You really don't look well. Have you not yet seen a doctor? No, no, it's nothing. You know that I've always had a weak stomach. My nausea will leave me eventually. You wanted to tell me something? I would like, if you would allow me the honor, to introduce Bishop Petrus, emissary of Teleme. Your Highness, may the light warm you in its holy embrace. Enchanted to meet you, my father. I've come here to present respects from Teleme and best wishes from the Mother Cardinal. She has my most sincere thanks. But before speaking further, I would like to discuss matters with my cousin, if you would be so kind. I've been to the neighboring cities, as you asked of me. Tell me then, was your journey adventurous? Well, I was able to gain audience with the governors, give them your regards, and glean some information. The Bridge Alliance believes that a remedy could possibly be found by studying the local flora. They are quite motivated, but their research expedition has gone missing and there is no sign of life. And since they themselves are under constant attack, they cannot spare a rescue party to investigate. The Mother Cardinal, in her opinion, believes the Malachor to be a result of a curse. A curse cast by a demon. An evil creature worshipped by a cult of island natives. If you would allow me to second the request of our Mother Cardinal, we are in dire need of your help. Our Inquisitors are hardly diplomats and... But I should let you finish, my son. They have started their investigations in a village where strange events have been taking place. But they're unable to get to the bottom of it. The population keeps its secrets. And Teleme hopes that we might help them learn more about the cult. This is all extremely interesting. You have lived up to my expectations, as always. That said, we find ourselves between the rock and the hard place. The bridge is already in open conflict with the island natives. Teleme and their inquisitors... <sighs> We're going to have to tread on eggshells, but let's follow all the clues to their mysteries. We need to help them continue their investigations. Perhaps one will lead us to something useful. I don't have a lot of men, as well you know, and since I only trust you among them, take Kurt and any others that seem useful. I wouldn't want anything bad to happen to you. If you would allow me, Your Highness, I would be honored to assist your cousin on his investigation. Yeah, it's okay. Very well, then. You could start by indicating the precise location of your nasty village. Of course, Your Highness. I should have thought of that sooner. Allow me to mark the location on your map, my son. Thank you. Excuse me. Have no fear, Constantine. I will take care of all matters at hand. Anything else? Are you liking your new role as a governor? How does it feel? Honestly, once the thrill of the first few days is over, it's boring. I receive delegations from everywhere. They arrive with their arms full of presents to make me sign some agreements. Most of them take me for a fool, who will be easily convinced by some silver trinket. I would love to simply brush them all off and work on some real projects. I have so many ideas to make this city, this island, truly amazing. How are relations with our allies? Oh, they bow and scrape, and they regularly assure me of their unwavering friendship, so that they can better try to convince me to embrace their point of view, and only theirs. Teleme wants to convert me, and the Alliance assures me that only they will allow us to benefit from progress. They're a bunch of old foxes, but they take me for a young, brainless rabbit. The only thing they really want is to increase their influence on this island with our help. I agree. I'm going to leave now. Goodbye, yeah, Constantine. Good. Look out for yourself. It'd be very beneficial for us to start bringing local tribes to our side in case, you know. In case they decide. Oh.
Everything is this. Oh, it's a great place. That was a normal junk. One armor that fits you like a glove. We'll make it for you. <laughs> we'll call that video there for now, okay?